So I hear you've been working on a movie recently. Yeah, it's a documentary about Asperger's. What exactly is Asperger's? Uh, Asperger's is part of the autism spectrum. There's a range from lower to higher functioning people on the spectrum, and there's essentially no difference between high functioning autism and people with Asperger's. So in this documentary, people will sometimes use the words synonymously, and sometimes will be respectively referring to the lower and higher functioning people on the spectrum. So context will let you figure that out. In 2013, most people have at least heard of Asperger's, but they don't have a good idea of what it actually is. So I went and found people that want to share their knowledge and experience to give people the general understanding of Asperger's that they need so they can understand people with Asperger's and what can be done to help both the individual and the person working and in interacting with them. My name is Paul Johnson and I was diagnosed in 2007. I am uh, 54 years old and came to Minnesota from New York City, born and raised in New York City, Brooklyn, New York. Um, came here at the age of 21 um, after I finished my undergraduate in City College of New York and came out here on an academic scholarship at the University of Minnesota uh, to attend um, the CSPP program, which basically means counseling pro um, psychology. And um, after the end of the two and a half years with that, I uh, met a woman who I really felt um, a kinship with and had a very powerful friendship with and uh, we, um, we stayed together and when she visited me, a little bit of time that I went back home to getting my, my graduate degree, uh, we got engaged and I came back out here to Minnesota and started my family. My name is Rachel Powell. I have a son who is 11. He was diagnosed with Asperger's when he was about four after having several issues with aggression in daycares and getting kicked out of a few of them. Um, one of the daycares recommended that we have him assessed by the school district and that's when we found out he had Asperger's. My name is James Williams and um, I was diagnosed with autism when I was three years old. I was born in 1988. 1980 is an interesting year in the history of autism because it was two years before 1990, which tends to be around the year that now people in the autism world consider as the historic t start of the autism baby boom. People who study history know that after World War II there was a baby boom, but there was also a big autism baby boom that occurred in the 1990s. When you have autism, there's kind of an interesting way your mind thinks. Everything is kind of connected to everything. There's also a different form of logic that you have when you have autism. That's why one thing I often tell people without autism is, if something seems illogical, it isn't. You just don't understand the logic. There are many ways a person might describe it, but I'd say autism is a disorder where you think differently, you feel differently, you act differently, you behave differently, and your body is made differently. And because of those differences, you struggle living in daily life. The word autism is, is, is a Greek word for, for self. We have an experience of life that is completely self-enclosed, self-encased um, within ourselves. We might experience something, we might know something, we might understand something we want to say to, to other people, and it doesn't come out right. And, and, and so there's that problem with that communication. It's like, okay, well, I understand, I feel this. Um, I might create a different word or a different way of saying something that nobody's, but you know, nobody's heard before. We know to say it this way or that way, um, and we just and we just struggle at knowing what's what's relevant and how other people might want or accustomed to hear something that you know that we're going through in our lives. There are many components to Asperger's. I can give you the short version and I can give you the long version. The elevator um, version of it is to say it's a social. Um, deficit in a person, a person who does not easily recognize the ways in which to engage and interact with people on a social level. That's the first and most prominent characteristic of, of a person with Asperger's. Those kind of problems are the things that draw people to you as, as this person is different, this person is uh, struggling, uh, this person is quote unquote disordered. And so those are the those are the main characteristics that you'd find in the person who has Asperger's. And then you have you know issues where 
where you have repetitive behaviors and you have people who like to stack things or have a special interest in something that they're really, 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 really interested in and they will just study that one um, topic and characteristic or subject deeply. Um, that's another main characteristic and knowing, you know, knowing what we want to say or how we want to say it irregardless of how other people might, might want to take it is another part and so that's, those are the so-called language issues.